I just finished walking this field that was recently sprayed with a post-emergent herbicide. The emergence is pretty even and the plants look healthy, which is not always the case after herbicide application. My name is Germain Pelletier, agronomist for Axter AgroScience. Through the years, following a herbicide application, growers have noticed stress signs on their alfalfa, corn, or soybeans. This is an abiotic stress. It means the stress is caused by an external factor. Drought, extreme temperatures, cold temperatures, and nutrient deficiencies are other sources of abiotic stress. The abiotic stress causes an increase in the concentration of harmful oxidizing free radicals. This triggers the natural defense mechanisms of the plant. It starts producing specific organic acids and enzymes. Their role is to capture and eliminate these free radicals. The natural defense systems of the plant can be overwhelmed and the effect of the stress can last potentially longer. For example, in alfalfa, it can last from 2 to 10 days. It was discovered that the plant can be helped to defend itself. Research has proven that supplying mineral nutrients help the natural defense mechanism. Adding NPK and micronutrients like boron, zinc, manganese and molybdenum in a small specific dose in a mixture with the herbicide increase the plant's capacity to produce required organic acid and enzymes. This is what is called a biostimulant effect. By supplying these nutrients, the natural physiological processes are stimulated. The crop can then work itself out of the stress much faster and go back to full development and growth patterns. The European Biostimulant Industry Council defines biostimulant as follows. Plant biostimulants contain substances whose function when applied to plants is to stimulate natural processes to enhance tolerance to abiotic stress. These substances can be nutrients if they are not used to fertilize. The small dose of crop booster added to the herbicide mixture acts as a biostimulant. So next time you spray your crop, make sure to add crop booster to the tank mix. It's the only product relying on years of independent research that clearly demonstrate its biostimulant effect.